Hi there everyone, it's Kate here, ready for the Friday blog post. Um, yeah, so been have been to the Byron Writers Festival um, on this Sunday just past, which was a very incredible experience, my first writers festival appearance. Uh, basically, I was there in the self-published marquee, which was a marquee um, which was dedicated to self-published authors, so pretty self-explanatory. Basically, we were all in this small marquee. It was an outdoor festival, so all in this small marquee. We all had um, a table set up, and there was four authors, authors set up at a time with all of our books on display, and basically we were just talking to people as they were coming past and stopping by our tables and talking to them about our writing and us as authors and the self-publishing process. So that was a really, really wonderful experience to be able to do that. Um, and if, um, if you followed the photos and posts that I did on social media through that time, you'll see, yes, I did make some sales and I even got to do a little bit of an author talk which was up on the stage which was really wonderful um, got to have a little bit of a talk about once again my books myself as an author and the publishing process so that was really really wonderful to be able to do that just an all-around wonderful experience and of course it was lovely to spend two days down in Byron Bay down on the northern rivers in um, northern New South Wales here in Australia um, so yeah that was lovely I got to go and stay down in Lennox Head the night before the festival and the night after the festival as well which is just a beautiful beautiful part of the world um, so I do highly recommend visiting Lennox Head um, if you get to travel down in that direction at any time um, yeah so I thought I, I wanted to do a bit of a debrief on my experience at the Byron Writers Festival as my first appearance um, my this first uh, post is a, um, a dedicated to the lead up. So basically, over the month of July, my experience of preparing for the festival. Um, yeah, so it was um, quite an interesting story. Um, I'm going to read a little bit from my script just to remind me of 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 the experience and the stories, the events that happened. Um, it was uh, yeah quite an interesting experience. It was actually the day I, I applied for the Byron Writers Festival about mid June was when the deadline was for the application, um, and it was the thirtieth of June that I found out that I had been uh, successful in that application. On the twenty ninth of June, I had actually been preparing to submit two short stories to the. Grieve Writers Competition, which is run by the Hunter Writers Centre down in Newcastle in New South Wales. I've entered that competition um, for the past two years and I've been selected in both of those years um, for publication in their anthology. Unfortunately, I didn't look at the date correctly. I'm sure that you'll remember me telling or writing about this story on Facebook. Um, I I didn't I got the date mixed up and I didn't get my story in on time in the deadline. So I was really really upset about that um, for about 24 hours. And then on the 30th that was on the 29th of June. And then on the 30th of June in the morning, I found out I got received the email that I had been successful in my application to participate in the self published marquee at the Byron Writers Festival. So went from being really down in the dumps um, on the 29th to being really really excited and ecstatic on the 30th so and basically from that day forth it was just uh, July was basically a blur it was just so full on preparing for the festival um, basically the next step was that I had to um, basically publish paid to dance I hadn't even published the book yet I had originally planned to publish paid to dance on the 20th of August so if I looked at that the book wouldn't even be public published yet so it was I had to bring the publishing date of the book forward about two weeks I did have all of the um, documents ready to be published so the manuscript had already been edited it had already been formatted ready to be uploaded to create space um, and the cover as well the cover actually wasn't quite finished but I was it was in the final stages and I was obviously going to finish that up before the 20th of August but with this news uh, that I was successful with the Byron Writers Festival I had to fast track that publishing so that I could have the book with me there at the festival 
on the uh, 7th of August. So that very night that I found out uh, about my appearance at the festival, I was sitting down and making changes, final changes to the cover design of Paid to Dance. And once that was all finished, I then submitted the cover design document and the interior um, document for the interior text of the book of to create space and it takes about a 24 hour period for them to approve that um, and make sure that everything's formatted properly um, and then they get back in touch with you and you can then approve your proof so basically once that had come back to me I ordered my proof so I ordered a hard copy of my proof I did have a little bit of time I had about 20 days so just over two weeks before I had to have a shipment of 20 books down to the Byron Writers Festival for them to put those books into the festival um, bookstore um, so I, what my plan was was to have this um, proof book sent to me. It was going to take about a week to get to me. Then I'd receive that proof. I'd look over it and check that I was happy with it. And then I would make the order to um, make the order for the 20 books that I would need to take to send down to Byron. But I was up that very night after I'd made the order for the proof. I was up that night and almost having a panic attack thinking I, I don't feel like I have enough time to wait for this proof to arrive, make any changes that are necessary and then make my order of 20 books. So I got on the computer and I just made the order of 20 books. I uh, was was fairly confident that the book would be of the quality that I was hoping for anyway. I've, I'd gone over the design, the cover designs and the interior documents several, several times. It had all been edited. So I basically just had to trust that it was all going to look good and, and be of a good standard um, for a final publishing um, material. So I just had to basically trust that it was all going to be okay so that I could just get my books here to me in enough time to then go down to Byron and deliver them to the bookseller. So with those books on their way, I was then preparing promotional material. I was preparing um, a whole bunch of different flyers. I um, created excerpts from the book, which you'll see that I've shared on the blog over the launch of the book on last Friday. So excerpts from not only Paid to Dance, but my other books, The Wilted Rose, um, The New Neighbours, my short story collection. I also did up a little handout that tells told a little bit about me, gave a little bit of information about me as the author. I organised a mailing list form, um, also a cash flow sheet for me to keep track of my cash flow on the day when I was at the festival. So all of these different things and I had here on the floor of my study I had all my book display laid out, planning it on the floor so I could take that to the table. Kitchen table's not too large here at our house so I had it all spread out here on the on the floor and so just basically keeping myself busy organising those things. Once the shipment of books arrived I then I drove down to Byron. I was considering having them couriered down to Byron, but I, I once again my <laughs> obs um, obsessive compulsive tendencies uh, uh, came in, and um, and I I just basically wanted to just make sure that they were, the books were going to get down there on time. And so I decided, my control freak part of me came through and I just wanted to get them down myself. So I decided to drive them down. I basically had to drive them to a storage facility where they were going to be kept and then they were all going to be taken away and stocked up in the festival bookseller bookstore. Um, so I drove down to Byron Bay. I'd had a basically no sleep the night before I went down. I was having a really hard time with my insomnia. I'm sure that a lot of you are aware that I suffer from pretty intense insomnia um, quite frequently, unfortunately. Um, so, yeah, I'd had a really bad run of nights um, just in that lead up of trying to get books organised and finalised and all that sort of thing. So went down to Byron. It's a really nice drive and all that sort of thing. But, yeah, very, very exhausting all the same. So it was, yes, it was um, quite a stressful, not going to deny, it was a very stressful experience um, preparing for the Byron Writers Festival. I would advise that if you're going to apply for any opportunities with your books, do make sure that those books are published 
um, before you apply for them because it was just a little bit of unnecessary stress, I believe. But it was truly, truly a, a wonderful way to launch this book into the world. Um, so that's basically the, the lead up to um, the festival. It was very busy. Um, in my next post, I am going to go in, into more depth of what the experience of uh, being at the Writers' Festival and promoting my book was like. Um, so, yeah, join me next um, Friday and I will um, be sharing more about that experience of being being there on site at the Byron Writers' Festival. All right, guys, see you next time.